These are the Savile Row glasses frames that I bought at Ray's auction. And when I looked at these, it looked like that the screw that went into this hole on this side that's supposed to hold the arm on was stripped. So I'm going to try to repair that. And to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is remove this arm so that I can more easily work on the other side. So we're going to take a, a screwdriver. That one, yeah, that's the right size. We're going to remove this screw from this side. There we go. Okay, and we'll set this arm with the other one off to the side. If I take that same screw and I drop it, I drop it in here like that. See how it just pushes right in. The threads that were, were in this part right here are stripped. See how it just, it just slides in and out. So, in order to repair this, I'm going to attempt to retap new threads on this side slightly larger and put a bigger screw in here, a larger diameter screw. I think I have the right screw here. This is a M1.2 by 3 millimeter long screw, and I am going to try it in the good side of the glasses to see how it fits. And it does fit very nicely, which is good. That means I've correctly identified the screw size, M1.2 on this side. And we'll see if this one still feels stripped on the other side. It actually kind of wants to bite in. No, so when I try to tighten it, it just spins. Okay, so that screw is still, it's still just a little too big. Or it's still just a little too small. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it. And we're going to try to put an M1.4 millimeter screw in. Here is the M1.2 screw that came out that fits the good side and then this is an M1.4 screw which is slightly larger in diameter than this one so I'm going to try to replace this one with this one and to do that I'm going to use a tap to retap the threads on that one side so this this tap is one millimeters this is 1.2 and this is the 1.4 millimeter tap. In order to use this tap, I need to hold on to it, and I'm going to hold on to it with this pin vise. I don't know if you can see, the pin vise has square jaws in it, and I can use those to grab the square shank on this tap. For tap oil, I had a choice of the stuff that I had in my garage, which I had 3-in-1 oil, I had WD-40, and I had some honing oil um, for honing knives. And I decided that I would use WD-40, since that's what I use when I'm tapping aluminum. And I only needed just a, a drop of it, so I'm just going to dip this in here. Alright, we're going to be very careful about how we go about this. I'm going very gently, and it's just starting to bite right here into the, the lower of the, the two pieces. I'm not going 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull this all the way out and, and get the chips out of here. Just a few little metal chips that came off of the tapping operation. Dip it back in the, in the tap fluid and come back over. bit further. I'm going to break that chip. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and get that chip off on the Kleenex. I'm doing this very gently. Let's back back out again. Clear our chips out. Now I'm being very gentle and making sure that three these threads are going in here okay. I'm getting very little resistance now, so it feels like the threads have been cut fully. You can see that there's a lot of chips on the part of the tap that's through. So I'm going to scrape these off out here so that I don't pull them back into the hole. Okay, now we're going to pull our tap back out again. Good. And now we can clean everything up and dry it out. Good. One more time with some nice clean fluid. Let's run the tap in and out one more time just to flush out any more particulate that might have been inside. It's running nice and smooth now. So I'm going to assume that that means that it's clean. Now that we're nice and clean, here is our M4 screw. I'm going to stick it on the end of the magnetic screwdriver and see how it goes into this hole. Here it slides. It slides right through the top. With just a little bit of grittiness and then when we get to the bottom it tightens right up now the head no longer fits down inside the tiny little counter bore that was in the arm of the glasses it no longer fits down in this little counter bore that's here but that just means that the head of the screw is going to sit on top and if i really really wanted to I could take this little screw down to my lathe and I could turn off the top of this head until it fit down in that hole. And I may end up doing that eventually, but for right now, I just want to check and see if this will retain the arm. I may go ahead and use a longer screw in here just so that it sticks down further, just for some extra security. The kit did have an M1.4 by 4 millimeter screw. So let's use that one. Let's see how it looks. There we go. That threads in real nice. Feels quite
quite secure. Terrific. Okay. Does this screw, being a larger diameter, fit through this arm? And the answer is no, it does not. I went ahead and chucked up the right drill bit. That would be a clearance hole for that screw. I'm going to dunk this tip of it in my cutting fluid and we are going to open up this hole very carefully All right, so the hole's opened up. Let's do a test fit. It's very tight, but it does go through. I do have to kind of twist it through. Let's see what happens when I get down. Okay, so that kind of spins there. So it's a nice tight fit, which is good. Let's go ahead and see if we can't reassemble these glasses. We're going to put in our arm. Like that. We're going to take our screw. that In there is a repaired arm on the glasses. I do have the shorter screw that I could put in here, but until I know that this thing is going to work out, I'm going to leave the longer screw in here just in case it, it tries to work its way out because I could see that happening. I could, I could see this thing working its way out over time. And I don't want to lose that screw. So I'm going to leave it with the longer one for now. Putting this screw, that arm in. We're going to reassemble. go. So there's that one. And here's this one. This one's just a little bit looser. Let's see if I can't tighten it up just a touch. So there we go. There's the uh, repaired pair of glasses. And now I can go about seeing how much it's going to cost to put my prescription lenses into these.